Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samasomwa Asante. This is another moment to receive truth for your enlightenment. Shall we get into the word? Our topic for today is His Resurrection, Our Justification. Our key scripture is Romans chapter 4, verse 25. Who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus is a historical event that, that has positively affected the course of history. It was the validity of the resurrection that caused the apostles to boldly preach the gospel to the point that almost all of them were killed because they claimed Jesus died, resurrected, and showed himself alive to them by many infallible proofs. Acts chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Our key scripture reveals an amazing truth about a very glorious effect of the resurrection to us. It says he was resurrected for our justification. To be justified is to be made righteous. According to Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 5, anyone who comes into Christ is immersed or baptized into Christ. He is baptized into Jesus' death and likewise resurrects with our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus resurrected with a perfect, sinless, righteous nature. Since we likewise resurrected with him, we also have that same sinless, righteous nature. This is the reason the Bible says in Romans chapter 4, verse 25, that he was raised for our justification. We have a righteous nature like Jesus. Colossians 1, 22 reads, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. This is how you are in God's sight. It says you are holy, you are unblameable and unreprovable. If you stand in the sight of God with such an impeccable nature, why do you carry that consciousness of sin? The weakness of many Christians is because they believe they have a sinful nature. This is a very big error committed by many Christians and even some ministers of the gospel. Note, you are what you believe. Refuse to accept that you are a sinner or you have a sinful nature. Let's consider another scripture in that light. 1 Corinthians 6, 11. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. In 1 Corinthians 6, 10, the scripture referred to some weaknesses or sinful lifestyle, but commented that such were their lifestyle before Christ, yet now they have been washed, sanctified, and justified. Dear child of God, you resurrected with Jesus with a righteous nature. Believe it. Confess it to yourself till it becomes your present hour consciousness. According to God's word, you are holy and you are justified. Let sin in any form cease with you right now. Amen. Now confession. I resurrected with Jesus, having a righteous nature just like him. I am holy and justified before the Father. I am unblameable and unreprovable. I do not have a sin consciousness, but rather the very nature of righteousness. Amen. Now thought. I am resurrected with Jesus. Therefore, I have a righteous nature like him. Amen. Further studies. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he had made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Romans 1.7 To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.